Let's take a quick look at one of the many shortcuts you can use in FrameMaker to save time and money. In this case, as you look closely, you can see that we've got three main heading styles, heading one, heading two, and heading three. Now I've made the font styles radically different, the, the, you'll, uh, the font information different, type families, italic, one's even underlined. Let's say that all three of these fonts, all three of these headings needed an update. I'll just simulate what we would normally do. Uh, if I wanted to change the color, for instance, I would have to go in here and do this three times. I'd have to go to the first one, change the color to red. There it is. Then I'd have to go to the second instance, have to go ahead and select the color, in this case red, and go ahead and do update. So it would take, I'd have to go through this for however many fonts I might happen to have. Here's a shortcut that you can use that's really exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just type in a sample heading text. And one more time, sample heading text. Now what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and tag these um, these uh, two paragraphs that I created as heading two and I'm going to make the second one be heading three. Now the, the crux of this technique is that basically whatever you're going to do to your um, paragraph styles, if you want to change more than one paragraph at a time, they have to be consecutive. So we just need to have three headings next to each other. Now let's go back into our paragraph designer. Once again, you'll see that they're quite different. Two of them are red, everything else is different. Notice as you click into each paragraph, you get all of the values displayed involving the font. However, if I click and drag through the three headings, notice that FrameMaker's done something really wonderful. It's bleached out the paragraph tag, and any of the values that are different between these three paragraph styles is either turned blank or turned neutral with kind of a blue tint. And here's what I can do now. Let's say I wanted to change the color so that all three of these go to forest green. Simply do that. Once again, click update all just like you always do. And FrameMaker's so smart, it's actually guessed, would I like to take the, only the default font only the default font properties, and would I like to only apply them to all matching tags in the selection? Yes. I say update, and look what's happened. As we scroll down here, you can see that every one of my headings has turned forest green. You can do this with any class of paragraphs, actually any kind of paragraphs at all. For instance, if you have four different lists, just put one instance of each of your four lists next to each other so you can drag through them and use the same technique. That's all there is to it, and this concludes one more time-saving tip with FrameMaker.